Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds or a loved one off their medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a particularly challenging health issue that you want want help dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. You can also give us a shout if you want to contribute to the conversation or if you just have a success story you'd like to share or if you have questions about formulations or ingredients or skin health issues as well, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a little business, make some money selling longevity products, which sell themselves, truly, especially the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Or you can get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, Retinol 5% Gel made with vitamin C and retinol, our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. No preservative, no fragrance, no filler, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want because you shouldn't have to pay for anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. I shouldn't, have to, I shouldn't be charging you so I could sell you a product, which is basically what the skincare business has devolved itself into, all because we don't get the straight scoop from skincare companies because they're not gonna, nobody's going to kill the goose that laid the golden eggs, and we're not ingredient readers. Check out our products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, I want to say a few more things about one of my all-time, maybe actually my favorite emulsifying agent, lecithin. Emulsions are blends of oil, oil and water. Emulsifying agents or emulsifiers pull the oil and water together, and they uh, are tremendously functional. In the human body, we have emulsions. Bile is an emulsifying agent. In skincare, we have emulsions. Pharmaceutical business depends on emulsions. Food is a uh, uh, many foods are, emuls- are emulsions or contain emulsifying agents. Last program we talked about. Soy and eggs, which are basically a mixture of fat and water. Soybeans and eggs are are fat and water, and the whole thing brought together by what I call the ultimate natural emulsifier, which is lecithin. The lecithin content of eggs in particular make eggs an incredibly valuable food for chefs, not just, uh, well, for sauces and for pastries and for mayonnaise. They can make your smoothies nice and creamy. If you crack an egg into your whey protein smoothie and you add some flaxseed oil or hemp seed oil, it'll bring the whole thing together, especially in the blender. So turn, your, turn an ordinarily watery whey drink into a thick, creamy smoothie. And, of course, you're going to get a boatload of nutritional value from the egg. You'll get protein and amino acids, not to mention B vitamins, vitamin D, A, zinc, magnesium, essential fatty acids. Sometimes whey protein manufacturers will actually add lecithin to their whey protein powders to so-called instatize it. If you see the word instatized on the label, chances are that your whey protein has some lecithin in it. Look out for soy lecithin, though. Sometimes soy lecithin can be, well, a lot of times soy lecithin is GMO, which means it's going to have more pesticides on it. Of course, with soy, you also run into problems with with, uh, phytoestrogens. Soy can be a problem, a little bit of a problem. I, I think it's a little overstated. 
Soy is actually a wonderful, wonderful source of protein. But if you want to stay away from soy, be careful of lecithin on the label of your whey protein. In the world of skincare, the emulsifying properties of lecithin make it ideal, make it an excellent natural emulsifier for creams and lotions. If you want to make your own creams and lotions at home, get lecithin oil and just mix it in with your uh, oil phase, as they say. Remember, a cream or lotion is basically going to be water, oil, and an emulsifying agent. So you take your oil and you, you mix in some lecithin oil in with the oil and then gradually pour in hot water into the into the, the mixture of your lecithin oil and oil and then whip it up and you got yourself a cream. Now, I got to warn you, lecithin oil is very sticky and hard to work with. And it's also stinky, especially soy lecithin. You can get sunflower lecithin. That's another source of liquid lecithin. It's not... Not quite as stinky, it still stinks. I'm not very fond of the smell of lecithin, I have to tell you, as, na as natural as it is and as gentle as it is. And it's also very, very sticky. So you want to warm up the lecithin and then warm up the oil so it all goes in together and then gradually, very carefully pour your water in and it helps if you're whipping as you're pouring the water in, either with a, a cake mixer, some kind of whipping device. And then uh, it also helps if your water is warm. Lecithin is a good emulsifier, but it's not as powerful as the kind they use in industry, in, in the cosmetics industry. It's certainly not like glycerol stearate or acetyl alcohol or, or sodium lauryl sulfate. These are more high-tech emulsifiers, and you're going to get a lot more you, you get a lot more stable product with those kinds of emulsifiers. But lecithin is is much gentler. One of the mo easiest and most effective emulsifiers, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, is the beeswax and borax blend. Borax is kind of a, it's a mineral type of substance from, uh, composed of the element boron. Borax is readily available on the internet or in, in uh, drugstores. It's used to kill ants, actually. Uh, beeswax and borax put together, though, make a really, really interesting emulsifier. In fact, the original cream emulsifier, uh, emulsion, the cold cream, which was invented by a guy named Galen, who was a Roman physician who lived 1,800 years ago, uh, was the original cold cream was made with beeswax and borax and oil. And you can still do it today. It's still a basic emulsifier. You can add, add other things to it. But as a base, the beeswax and borax emulsion is a pretty, pretty effective and, well, uh, well it's, I would say it's pretty gentle, a pretty effective and pretty gentle base that you can, you can make at home. The basic form is pretty easy. You just need some oil and some water and some beeswax and borax. That's it. You get your borax at the drugstore or off the Internet. Beeswax is pretty much available anywhere. And then just get some water and oil. A good basic recipe is like maybe 20 to 25% beeswax and then 50% oil. If you use vegetable oil, you got to be a little bit careful because vegetable oil goes rancid, So uh, especially when it's in combined with water. So you might want to use mineral oil. That's the, that's what uh, the, the, that's what the uh, Cheeseboro Manufacturing Company, who took Galen's formula and made the original cold cream back in the late 19th century, they used mineral oil because it was much more stable. But whatever oil you decide to use, maybe half your product will be oil. And then you melt the oil and the beeswax together. And then you warm up the water. Water. you got to have the water warm. You always want your water phase to be the same temperature as your oil phase. Otherwise, it'll all clump up. So you melt your beeswax in your oil. You warm your water. Don't boil it, though, because if you get your water too hot, you'll get this big explosion when you add the water into the oil. Not an explosion, but it'll just kind of fizz up, and you'll mess up your formula. So warm the bees, or melt the beeswax in the oil. Get the water uh, a little bit hot, and then pour it in, about 20 to 25 percent water, and then... Uh, uh, actually, you want to add a little borax to the water first, maybe 1% borax, dissolve that into the water, and then take your water borax blend, add it to your beeswax oil blend, whip it all up, voila, you get yourself a nice cold cream. And then if you want to beef it up a little bit, you can throw some vitamin A in there, or vitamin E in there, or some herbal stuff in there, and you can use it to remove makeup, and you can use it uh, to clean your skin as well. Lecithin is still gentler than borax, and even though it's not as as uh, effective, it's a pretty darn good emulsifying agent, and it's especially good for uh, dissolving oil and using as a cleanser, using it uh, as a cleansing agent. Remember, dirt tends to be oily. It's located in the oil phase. Less of them will pull that off and actually... Uh, make your uh, make your dirt easier to rinse off your face and this property of lecithin to make oil stuff rinse off easily is actually used in industry i'll tell you about a really neat product when we come back from our break i'm pharmacist ben you're listening to the bright side on the genesis communication network we'll be back right after this On 
the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben, and we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time in the AM and 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. Got lots of good information for uh, five years' worth of uh, archives at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com, both of which are searchable. If you miss a program or want to review a program, they're all up. And also, we have blogs that you can check out at pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, Critical HealthNews.com has some cool videos as well. We just did a probiotic video. Uh, should be up there. Hopefully, it's up there today. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, go to TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com, and make sure you take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our other Truth Treatment products, Truth Serum, made with a whole bunch of vitamin C. The more vitamin C than you're going to find in any other skin, skin health product, period. And I know that because the stuff is darn expensive. Nobody's going to be messing around with that kind of expense in a skin health product, but I'm doing it because you deserve it. And you can check it all out at Truth Skin Health Products, uh, TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Uh, okay, so let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number today. We're talking about lecithin and emulsions. Got just a few more things to say. Uh, got lots to say, actually, about lecithin. I don't know if I'm going to get to everything. Lecithin's amazing, amazing stuff. Um, lecithin has an ability to kind of help uh, help uh, combine water and oil together, pull water and oil together. And this can be especially effective for cleansing and for cooking. If you don't want to have your pans have, have greasy stuff stuck to your pans, you can actually use lecithin to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. In fact, this property of making oil less sticky was exploited in the 1970s or, or leveraged in the 1970s by a guy named Arthur Meyerhoff. And Arthur Meyerhoff figured out that if he took some lecithin and dissolved it in a little bit of oil, the liquid, the blend of the lecithin and the oil, would make an anti-stick ingredient that he could use for cooking. And you guys can do this at home. You just take some lecithin and some oil and just kind of mix it up together and then coat the bottom of your pan. And, and uh, uh, then you can fry, put eggs, you know, cook up your eggs or whatever you're frying up and it won't stick to the pan. In fact, Arthur Meyerhoff, uh, Arthur Meyerhoff's product works so well that uh, he put it in a little can, stuck some propellant in there, and called it Product of Arthur Meyerhoff, P-A-M, which we know today as PAM, Anti-Stick Cooking Spray, Product of Arthur Meyerhoff. All it is is lecithin and canola oil. These days, I'm sure it's GMO lecithin, but you can make your own. Just get some non-GMO organic lecithin oil from the health food store, mix it up with a little coconut oil. We've got to have to warm it. Remember, lecithin's a little sticky. So you warm it up, you make this little concoction, and coat the bottom of your pan. And you could do the same thing to make your own makeup remover with lecithin and coconut oil. You might want to fragrance the lecithin. Use a, you, you, you use some lavender oil maybe, or uh, you can use some uh, a chocolate flavor if you like. There's vanilla flavor, whatever you like. You, vanilla and coconut oil go really well together. Uh, mix up some lecithin and coconut oil, and you can make your own facial PAM, in essence, anyway. Not really, but be a makeup remover and a facial cleanser. It's not going to suds, but the lecithin will emulsify the dirt in the makeup and make it all easier to rinse off. And the coconut oil will get you some vitamin E and also have some skin softening effect. Make your own makeup remover with lecithin. Lecithin makes all fatty substances more water soluble, and that includes the, the body. Lecithin is a vital, vital, vital biochemical. This is what makes it so neat. The way I look at it, this is what makes it so neat for skincare. It's in your body already. It's in your skin already. It's like you're not interfering with skin chemistry because it's already a biological compound. It's a biochemical. Lecithin makes fatty substances more soluble in the body like it does on the body. It helps the body transport fats through the blood. This makes it invaluable for cardiovascular health. It helps keep arteries clear of cholesterol deposits. Yes, lecithin is one of the best ways, using lecithin orally is one of the best ways to clear your arteries. It's part of an enzyme called LS, uh, LCAT, lecithin cholesterol acetyltransferase, LCAT. And this is a, a lecithin enzyme that actually pushes cholesterol into HDL so that the HDL can clear the cholesterol out of the blood. HDL has a, HDL's purpose is to take cholesterol and clear it out of the blood and deliver it to the liver, and L-lecithin can facilitate that, pro, uh, facilitate that uh, process. It improves the functionality, it improves the activity of, uh, of uh, HDL cholesterol, which isn't cholesterol, by the way. It's HDL. HDL carries cholesterol. It's not cholesterol. Lecithin helps the body absorb fatty vitamins. Take your lecithin with your meals. It helps your body absorb EFAs. One of the active components in bile is lecithin. 
And if you're missing a gallbladder, taking lecithin with your meals is a must. That's why Doc Wallach calls the ultimate enzymes, uh, uh, he calls it a gallbladder in a bottle because of the bile salts. When you eat lecithin, it gets processed into your bile and will actually help soften your gallstones, even if they're already there. It'll help prevent new gallstones from forming. Because uh, lecithin helps clear the arteries of cholesterol, it has benefits for brain health, for Alzheimer's disease and other dementias, which are associated with cholesterol deposits. And by the way, as far as brain health goes, lecithin is incredibly important for the brain and for the nervous system, and that includes Parkinson's disease. Maybe you guys saw yesterday an FDA committee voted 12 to 2 that the benefits of this new drug, Nuplazid, which is a whole, represents a whole new way of so-called treating something called Parkinson's dementias. It's a whole new category of drugs now for Parkinson's dementias made by this drug company called Acadia. Uh, so anyway, this FDA committee voted 12 to 2 that the benefits of Nuplazid outweighed the risk. Nuplazid supposedly treats Parkinson's dementia. Parkinson's dementia uh, occurs in nearly half of Parkinson's disease patients. Now, if you're out there thinking, oh, well, dementia is Alzheimer's disease, isn't it? You're right. That's because Parkinson's disease is exactly the same thing as Alzheimer's disease, except it's happening in a different part of the brain. The distinction, the artificial distinction between Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease is only there to create foundations and to create specialists and to create drugs. It's not there. That distinction, calling these two things separate diseases, doesn't help us in reversing, uh, in the reversal process, and that's why nobody can do anything, really, for Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, because they're basically the same thing. They're degenerative processes. The only difference between Parkinson's and Alzheimer's is where in the brain the degeneration occurs. The symptoms are pretty much the same. In Parkinson's, you get more movement disorders because because uh, it affects the area of the brain where movement is coordinated. And in you know, Alzheimer's, you get more thinking issues or dementia issues because the degeneration is occurring in the front of the brain. But it's basically the same breakdown, just in a different part of the brain. This is one of the m most important ideas of what I call the bright side philosophy. And it, if you get nothing else from this program, you'll get a lot if you just understand this as, in terms of dealing with a degenerative disease. There are no special diseases. These are all 12,000 so-called chronic degenerative diseases are the same generic biochemical processes. The creation of these arbitrary dis designations, these arbitrary distinctions, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, this is a medical industry scam, a self-serving scam so that innocent and suffering patients and their families can have the privilege of giving their money and their trust to specialists, special doctors, and special drugs, and special foundations, and special races, and special hats, and special t-shirts, and special ice bucket challenges, and pink ribbons, and none of which makes a wit's bit of difference in getting us healthier. There are no special diseases. It's all the same stuff, folks. The body just falls apart. Alzheimer's disease is the frontal part, front, front part of your brain dissolving. Parkinson's disease is another part of your brain dissolving. It's just your brain dissolving. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, skin health formulations, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, we'd love to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Uh, I was, I was going to talk about this uh, drug, this new drug, and, and lecithin actually is one of the best things you could do for Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease or movement disorder issues, any kind of neurodegenerative health issues. And I did want to just touch on this, this crazy new drug for dementia and talk a little bit about, well, uh, we'll, do, we'll I think we'll finish this up tomorrow. Uh, I've got so much more I want to say here. I want, I'm, later on uh, this week or maybe next, we'll talk about nutrients that you should use if you're going, going to be uh, leveraging the ketogenic diet. Lecithin is one of those nutrients. If you're going to be eating more fat, you want to eat more lecithin. And you, lots of ways you can get lecithin. Health food stores pretty much all carry lecithin. Look for non-GMO and organic lecithin. And as I said earlier, I like sunflower lecithin, although the only powder that I've ever seen is, uh, is soy-based. Uh, sunflower lecithin is oil, and the oil is definitely stinky 
and sticky and hard to work with. But we'll continue all this tomorrow, and we'll especially talk about Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and lecithin and also this new drug, Nuplazid, for Parkinson's dementia. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to California. Good morning, Pam. What is going on? How you doing? Oh, good morning, Ben. Um, Greetings. Really good to speak with you. I have two things. Actually, I could go on all day, and I wish you were on uh, the radio more hours than you are. But anyway, Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm fascinated, and I've learned a whole lot. So anyway, good. Excellent. My, my first question is, um, not quite a year ago, I got some of your um, retinol cream from, it was a lady who worked with your old company. I okay, we shall, shall not mention their name. You should not, yes. But anyway, I got some of that from her, and I really had great results with it. Was it, it the prescription? What kind of retinol? Was it the prescription one, or was it? Or, no, it was, your, it was your 5%. Oh, the peeling cream. Yes. Uh -huh. the, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, you, did it work well for you? It worked really well, and okay. that's what I'm coming to. And then you sent me a sample of your omega-6. Okay. Multiple, and I'm not online, unfortunately, so that's why. Oh, I you can't, or you can only. Uh, you know, I, when I sold the other company, I had to sign an agreement that said I would only be online. So, uh, but there I can't is a do, phone number on the top of this Omega Six the, multi-purpose healing cream. Yeah, that phone number is just that's just to take uh, for information to get you information, but not for ordering. Why don't you do this, Pam? I, I'm still trying to figure out how to do that for folks who aren't online, but there are legal issues there. So send me an email, Ben at ksco.com, and I'll send you a sample. I'll also send you a sample of my. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll send you a sample of my retinol peeling, uh, my retinol 5% gel, which is much gentler than the other product that you mentioned. Um, it's much gentler, and it's a much better product, actually. Um, but if you give, put your phone number in there, I'll talk to you, off the, uh, I'll talk to you uh, in person, and we'll discuss how we can get that taken care of for you. It, it might be a friend, because that's my problem. I'm not online, so I'm Yeah, maybe we'll get your a friend to do it. I, I'll, we'll figure out something. I want to get you the product, so we'll figure out I, something. I really do want to buy. Now, that brings me real fast is... Um, I did find, uh, you know, an I, a, a book written by an MD called The Autoimmune Solution. Her name is Amy Myers, M-Y-E-R-S, M-D. Okay. Okay. She talks, oh, she's amazing. She talks almost, she could be your, your, your twin sister. Right. Would she talk about the gut well, and about leaky he, gut and all that? She went through years of, of thyroid issues, had Graves' disease. And, and says over and over in this book uh, how her uh, medical colleagues just really let her down because they did not believe in nutrition, they did not believe in any of the things that you're talking about. And they finally talked her into all these, you know, um, auto, um, immune suppressant drugs. She finally, the upshot, she had to finally have her thyroid removed. Oh my gosh. So That's awful. angry, angry about it. Is she angry in the book? Yes, <laughs> she should be. That is one of the most. That is one of the most uh, Byzantine, medieval, barbaric yes. surgeries of all. There's a lot of them, but that one is the most. If you ever see somebody without a thyroid, it is just heartbreaking. Absolutely when, heartbreaking, yep. and, and they do it for Graves' disease, for autoimmune disease. That's yep. why they take it out. And went through months of, of, of having this excess thyroid leak into her body and, and having mm. symptoms. But anyway, the upshot of it is, she said, I'll never let this happen to anybody else. Good for she her. She investigated this. The diet about leaky gut, about about all of these different... She should be on the bright side. That's all I the stuff we're talking about. I want you to get her on because but she talks about the grains. She says no grains are healthy. Pretty and, much. Yes. and There's she, healthy and, things in grains, but that yes. doesn't make the grains themselves healthy. She, she talks about you. She talk, not, not about you, but how these grains do make substances that prevent them from being eaten and attacked. She talks about all that? Oh, that's all neat. All of that. I got to get that book. <laughs> what, what's it called now? It's it's amazing. Um, I've never heard anybody say that before. Well, Which, she's uh, the first doctor I've ever found. <laughs> okay, well she's right on. I got to get a hold of her. Tell me the name of the book, real quick, Pam. The name of it is called, and it's new. The, auto it's the autoimmune solution preventing the first, it. the full spectrum of inflammatory diseases. She has people come to her from all over the United States. Awesome. A one month diet, you know, very, very... They probably limited. leave like new people. I bet they leave like they a new do. person. And they yeah. don't believe it. Even her own father, who was completely yeah. resistant, when 
for years and finally got so desperate that he said, all right, I'll do I'm it I'm telling already. you. <laughs> Pam, you, I, I've seen it so many times. I want everybody out there listening and what, to what Pam's saying, what I'm saying right now. If you have an autoimmune disease, it is 100% reversible because it's a process. Yeah. It's something that's happening into your body. You stop doing that. You start to support the body and it's 100% reversible. I got to get this gal's book. Maybe we'll get her on the air. Thank you so much for sharing, Pam. She is online. Amy, Amy Myers, M- M E Y E R S, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Good deal. Thank you so much, Pam. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for Thank sharing you. that. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, Victor in L.A. What's going on? Welcome to the bright side, brother. Yeah, Victor. 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 Here. Yes, sir. I had a p- inflammation of the prostate for uh, four or five years already. Okay. Uh, I always went to the bathroom. Okay. Let me get you some strategies for it. You ready? Please. Okay, number one, most important for the prostate, if you're, and for all men who are going to the bathroom uh, over the age of 45, 50, going to the bathroom, starting to go to the bathroom once or twice in the middle of the night, three times in the middle of the night. Sometimes you go to the bathroom, you feel, think like you have to urinate, but you can't. Uh, number one, first and foremost, beta cytosterol, all-time greatest supplement for dealing with prostate, symptomatically anyway, uh, dealing with uh, BPH. Uh, 300 milligrams a day, beta cytosterol. You want me to spell that, Victor? 300 milligrams. Beta cytosterol. Yeah. Cytosterol. Beta cytosterol. Amazing stuff. Next thing, zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Must have. Must have for everybody. If you're not supplementing with zinc, 50 milligrams a day, you are missing a key, key mineral, especially for the prostate. Okay? I like zinc picolinate. P I C O L I. P I C O L I N A T E. Um, okay. Uh, fats. The prostate is a fatty gland. Anything you could do to support fat metabolism, first and foremost, staying away from fried uh, processed fats, uh, okay. French fries and chips and, you know, all the stuff we love to eat. No, and then replacing, replacing those with omega fats, especially uh, omega-3 fats. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs, nine capsules a day. There's also, by the way, Longevity has a product called ProstFX that you can throw in there, too. The omega carry 8,000 milligrams, is it? Per, uh, say, capsule? Uh, ultimate EFA. Where, say that again? The omega, omega three omega fatty acids. Omega. Get on the ultimate EFA, nine capsules a day. Call eight six six seven three five twenty four seventy. Tell them you want the ultimate EFA. Hang on, Victor. There's tons more. I'm going to get you. So don't go away. Okay. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We're in L.A. talking to Victor. Are you there, my friend? Victor, Victor, Victor. Doctor. Okay, so I. You gave me it's already in a bottle, right? Yes, it's in a bottle, and I'm going to go a little. Victor, I got a whole bunch of calls. So I'm going to go a little bit fast. Okay. Uh, if you want to review, go to benfuchsarchives.com or pharmacistben.com. At pharmacistben.com, and, and by the way, that's an awesome website, pharmacistben.com. Um, we have a 24-hour replay, so you can go back and listen because there's tons of it. I'm going to give you a lot of stuff, uh, and I, I'm not going to go slow. It's going to, I'm going to go quickly here. So, in addition to the ultimate EFAs from longevity, you and the zinc and the beta cytosterol, you got to focus on fats. That means eliminating fatty foods and using fatty nutrients, especially vitamin E, 400 international units a day, and vitamin D. The best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun. Stay away from fried and processed fats. Stick with the good fats. Use lecithin with your meals. And then uh, if you want to throw a couple more things in, make sure you're stabilizing your blood sugar. Uh, There's a very important relationship between elevated blood sugar and dysglycemia and prostate issues. So make sure you're doing all the stuff uh, to treat yourself as if you were diabetic. And then iodine, which gets a lot of of play as a a thyroid mineral, which it is. It's important for thyroid hormone. is also important for the prostate gland. So make sure you're getting your iodine, iodorol. I like that form of iodine, eating seaweed and fish and ocean-type products. And then... uh, one more thing, if you want to throw more, one more thing in, uh, vitamin C, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. Of course, getting on your healthy start pack is always a good idea just to get your basic Mighty 90 essential nutrients. Okay, my friend, I'm going to motivate. Have a beautiful day. Thanks so much for calling from LA, Victor. Can you give me the phone number? Is this, uh, uh, yes, 866-8... Yes, you can order all this from... Here's the number. 866-735... 2470. Tell him you spoke... Tell him, you sp- tell him you spoke to me and sign up and join the Brightside Ben team and you can get your products at the wholesale price and you and I can work together. Very good. Thank you, Victor. Take care, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye. 
All right, Sandy in St. Louis, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hi, Glenn. Uh, Glenn. Hi, Ben. So, yes. um, Sandy, I'm Sandy in St. Louis that lives on Fuchs Road. How cool is oh, that? Oh, you're that Sandy. <laughs> That's so cool. Fuchs Road, huh? How do yeah. you like that? Okay. Yeah. Well, good to talk to you. Thanks for your order, too, by the way. We shipped it out yesterday. Yeah. So, this, so I'm excited about getting the true skin care that came, uh, well, it was, it was in the mail as of yesterday, so I'm excited to get it. Yes. And uh, I'm a new uh, longevity distributor, too, as I'm nice. feeling and feeling the difference of the product. I'm very excited. Awesome. I want to thank you for your work, your enthusiasm. Oh. You, you, just, oh. you know, you turned me on uh, along with Dr. Glidden. With, nice. Um, just, you know, starting to feel good, and I'm starting to feel good, and I'm 70. So that's I hear cool. it in your voice, Sandy. That is so <laughs> awesome. Well, so how long have you been on the products now? I have been on since the 1st of February, and I had a lot of things going on. Nothing, you know, really, you know, really horrible, but I'm learning to sleep, you know? That's awesome. So, so you weren't feeling, you, you knew, you, there was nothing dramatic, but you just knew you weren't at your best kind of thing. Is that I accurate? I not at my best, no energy, and then I came down with bronchitis, which got me onto 13 and then got me into Glidden and then got me into you and blah, blah, blah. And, and here it is the end of March. And I know that I'm not going to have bronchitis next year. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, don't you want to stand on top of the roof and scream this to everybody? I do. And that's why I became a distributor That's because, awesome. you know, it's something that I believe in. And then to, when you feel it, it's just, it's just incredible. You I mean, want everybody to feel it. You can't keep it to yourself. Yeah, That's yeah, what we're... Yeah. And, and the honesty, the honesty of, of, of having the nutrition versus MD. Right. Like there's not a magic formula. You got to kind of take control of your life. It's like, you know, it's the truth. That's why, that's why I call my skincare line the truth. Cause that's what this is about. It's the truth. The truth is, is that you, you can do it yourself, but you got to take the ball, by, the bull by the horns. You know, yeah. the, the medical model says, just take this pill, come in and get a checkup, get the surgical procedure done. No, no, you yeah. got to change the way you live, and that includes the nutrition. All right, so and what's going on? Thing, well, Tell me how I can help you today, Sandy, because we're going to run okay. out of time. All right, yes. I didn't mean to cut you off. Were you going to say one more thing? What were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, by arguing the truth, it was so nice to be followed up with an email that you were telling me specifically, do it this way, and it was just nice. It was just oh, nice. I appreciate that. Everybody who, yeah. I want to know who's ordering the products. I want to know who's using them, and that's why I yeah. give you access to me. Every, what, what other skin health yeah. company is going to give you access to the formulator? Uh, who, I know. Who's going, you know. Have you ever heard of a skincare company saying you can call the formulator of the products? No. Uh, no. no, it doesn't and happen. Then, then you're, you're interested in what my, um, how it works for me. So, I mean, this is, this is cool. So it's worth you know, uh, trying it, and I'm excited to get it. So. All right. Well, you stay in touch. Let us know yeah. how. Let us know how everything's working for you. And then, what now, you got a question? Yeah. 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 Just real quickly, coffee enemas. Listening to Mike and Mike, I've added. You know, I really like the coffee enemas, and I've added a little bit of glutamine and aloe to them. Mike and, and then, Mike, like ESPN. Mike and Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, They're talking about coffee enemas, Mike and Mike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How funny. Mike. Mike Phillip was talking about it, and then the other Mike comes in, and he's telling how he does it. So he has the glutamine and the owl, and I'm thinking, okay. okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, there's some benefits. to. You know, it's part of the Gerson therapy, and, and I like Gerson. Um, yeah, well, so the coffee you, enemas are really um, rejuvenating. Um, and have you done anyway, them? So, You've done them? I'm sorry? You've done them, I take it. Yes, and I, and I enjoy them because it just feels like there's been... I don't, it's not like an enema. I mean, it is, but... It's not like it, an ordinary enema. The caffeine has it, some really interesting properties. You clean up, you, you do a regular enema, and then you do the coffee enema, and when you hold that for like 15 minutes, I mean, it... I can feel, almost yeah. feel the bile coming out of the, yeah. the gallbladder that I'm thankful that I have. Um, Thank you. That's know, right. So that's right. Praise are, God. Things are working. Anyway, so... Um, my question is, I want to put this to you, is that since Mike and Mike are doing the glutamine and the aloe, I'm thinking, well, I, I ordered this um, uh, a glutathione tablet that you put underneath your tongue. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know either. Know. I have my doubts about that glutamine yeah. tablet, glutathione yeah. under, under the tongue. The best way to do glutathione is to stimulate your own. Make sure you're healthy enough. And that means that's using, glu I, right. and that's using glutamine. Learned. 
use glutamine powder, vitamin C, yeah. selenium, yeah. sulfur. These are all mechanisms. Protein, uh, any kind of good protein will get you the gluten. Whey protein particularly is particularly good. That's the best way to do it. And the coffee enemas, you know, there's some definitely some interesting benefits. It's more medicinal than, I, you know, I don't usually talk about it because it's more medicinal than nutritional, but caffeine is a, is a vasodilator. It opens things up. So when you hold it in there like that, you're opening up your bile, you're opening up all the uh, 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 bile, fl uh, bile tubules, so the bile flows better, you're cleaning out the liver, and it also has been shown to stimulate your own natural glutathione. So there's lots of benefits to that. I don't know if I do it too often, but but Gerson recommended, I think, once a week or once every few weeks for cancer patients. Yeah, yeah, and, I'm, and it's really, really nice. Um, so the thing of it is, is I've got these leftover, since I've learned everything that you just said, um, I've got these leftover glutathione, um, um, or not glutathione. Um, yeah, glutathione um, tablets that you put underneath. I'm thinking, well, I can add that to the coffee enema, and then it doesn't go through the intestinal tract. <laughs> That's very <laughs> clever. That's very so clever. Go right into the blood. Yes, you can do that. Yeah. Now, you got to make sure it's, you know, stuff goes right into, when you do an enema, it's going right into your blood. So you want to make sure everything's exactly. on the up and up with the product. But, but yeah, yeah it should, a, should work fine. Good deal. Oh. All right, Sandy, okay. thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you, the thank truth. You. And stay in Thanks. touch. I'd love to hear how you're doing. Okay. All right, uh, Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, my brother? Good morning, Benjamin. What's uh, going on? to the conversation. All right. Uh, you always have something interesting to say, Carl, the Truth Raider. So yeah, what's going on today? Covered. I might I might have touched on this before. Yeah, but I'll you sound like you're feeling again. better, too, Carl, the Truth Raider. Just barely. It's one of these type of, of colds and flus. That no, but you had a stroke. You're telling me you were stroking out the last time I talked to you. You're yeah, pre stroke. It, yeah, because I was. Uh, I, it, acid acidosis was 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 the problem. Who I told had. you that? Who, what wise person told you that? Uh, some pharmacist guy on the radio. <laughs> yes. Did you do the baking soda? Did you do the baking? Oh yes. I'll have to hold my nose. To do that. Did it help? <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. They, did, it, they, did it help? I haven't had. I haven't had another. I haven't had another episode. No. I no. told you. That's, that yeah. was a classic sign of acidosis. You're all. I'm right. stroking right. out. I'm having a stroke. All right. <laughs> anyway, you, okay. About yes. the, the toothpaste versus tooth gel. Um, six of one, half dozen of the other. They're both. Uh, yeah, the gel is a little bit nastier chemical, typically. Well, oh, I yeah. shouldn't say. It. I shouldn't say that necessarily because oh, you know, the fluoride is really the bad. Uh, toothpaste, you're not eating it except for the fluoride. That's the one big right. problem with toothpaste and tooth gel. You can make your own with baking soda, you know. Right. That's another right. purpose. That's another use for baking soda. Make your own make your own toothpaste with baking soda. Just put a little bit in water and make up, uh, make up a little paste. Brush with it and then rinse it out with, some lem with something acidic and you'll get a little fizzing action. And that fizzing action will actually have a cleansing effect. And that's, by right. the way, that's how bile works in the body. Bile and, and stomach... Uh, food that leaves the stomach acidic, bile hits it, you get a little fizzing action, and it cleans. And you can use that little trick to clean your dishes, too, with yeah. baking soda and vinegar. <laughs> Carl, I got to motivate. All right. Have a beautiful day, man. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about emulsions and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and lecithin and heart health and supplements you could use for the ketogenic diet. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.